So Propaganda Piers is up to his old tricks again in his superlative quest to humiliate and condemn, no pun intended, his guests who speak up against the brutality that is being ruthlessly bestowed upon the Palestinians. There's certainly an argument to be had as to why some of these guests continue to give Morgan's show the time of day when one considers the high stakes and imperative messaging of a population seemingly being slaughtered against Piers's feather-headed vocal distractions. This time, it's the turn of American-Lebanese journalist Rania Kalek, who, towards the end of this edited interview, is not far off, very unpleasantly, to being verbally accosted by Morgan. So let us observe, giving our thoughts along the way. Well, joining me now is a Lebanese-American commentator, Rania Kalek, Israeli-American commentator, Emily Schrader, and British-Iranian lawyer, Elika Lebon. Well, welcome to all three of you. OK, Rania Kalek, um, on the question of genocide, what Israel say and what their supporters say, and what I'm sure Emily would say, is if, if Israel was genuinely perpetrating genocide, it has the tools to kill every single person in Gaza, and it hasn't done that, has no intention of doing that. What an extremely moronic and mute point, Piers. Of course, they could not do that, as there would be rippling consequences, closely followed by becoming pariahs of the world, thus in a category not too dissimilar to the Nazis. However, if you want to talk about genocidal intent, Hamas has made it crystal clear that they do want the elimination of Israel. Uh, and in fact, after October the 7th, the official spokesman came out and said, we want to do it again and again and again. So there is clear genocidal intent from Hamas, isn't there? As if any proof were warranted of Piers' proclivity, you'll notice that propaganda Piers recognises no genocidal intent against the Palestinians. 35,000 dead and vociferously counting, but yet ecstatically happy to offer conjecture on the genocidal intent of the group Hamas. Well, Piers, I have a list here of all of the genocidal statements by high-level Israeli officials that the South Africans did a very good job of presenting a case about at the ICJ. Yeah, but they not didn't too actually conclude. They, yeah, um, but hang on, they didn't actually conclude it was genocide yet. So my question to you is not actually about that mm, yet. It's whether you believe that Hamas has genocidal intent, which they began on October the seventh in that horrendous manner, and which they have repeatedly said they wish to continue. Do you accept that is genocidal intent? I just don't accept the premise. Uh, Israel is a settler colony that is committed to stealing as much land as possible with as few Palestinians on it as possible. Israeli yeah, that wasn't, hang on, again, that. I don't want to push on it. Right well, I'm, I'm not going to ask let you again. Well, I just wonder... Finish. He doesn't really want to hear Rania's perspective, but hold on. This opportunist smells blood signifying clicks more clicks and controversy on the back end of humiliating yet another Palestinian supporting guest. You, no, but you, I, you, you me mentioned, a you, hang, hang on, hang question. on. I just want to finish. I understand, but you were the one that mentioned genocide repeatedly. So I'm just simply asking whether you think that Hamas, with its behaviour... No, no, and with its I stated, don't. With its stated... No. You do not think they, they are genocidal? Towards Israel. No, but am I allowed to like actually answer? Or are you going to like stop me from answering? Well, you just answered. You because said no. Because what you're saying you? is essentially saying, well, well, well. Am I allowed to like say any more? I just get to say no, and that's it. You because say what you're you talking want. about We're here uncensored. is a group. What a load of bullshank peers! Your machinations exude that of one surreptitiously censored. Of colonized people. Well, these are a group of colonized people who are fighting against a settler colonial entity that seeks to eliminate them. I'm not going to sit here and call Hamas genocidal, just like I wouldn't call a slave revolt in the U.S. against plantation owners genocidal, just like I wouldn't call Algerians fighting okay, their French so before colonizers I, okay, okay, genocidal. I hear, you. I hear you. Before I go to Alika, though, just one it's, final it's question for you. Ironic. Okay, but, so it's, would you, would you, this is a question I've asked many people for many months. And here we go. This bell ends piece de la resistance. Look at the acknowledging smile on Rania's face. Hopefully, she's somewhat rehearsed for what's coming. Incoming folks. Would you then condemn mm -hmm. what Hamas did on October the 7th or not? I don't condemn Palestinian armed resistance groups, just like I wouldn't condemn slaves shooting at their plantation masters. Apparently, wow. okay. a lot of you would. I, that, I that wouldn't is actually, condemn Nat I got Turner's to tell you, rebellion. I Rania, wouldn't condemn I have to tell you. I, have I wouldn't tell you, condemn Rania, the Irish fighting the British. I have to tell you, Rania, that is why I ask everyone that question recognition of his ridiculous meme of a question, not exactly the theory of special and general relativity, is it? So like a wee little child, Piers has his gotcha. Rania is condemned, guilty, 
Take her down. Next one. Because sometimes people just but say, it's a distraction. No, hang on, hang it's on. A distraction. Hang on. And people like you just brazenly say, no, I don't condemn a mass terrorist attack and the slaughter of 1,200 people. Fine. No, I don't well, condemn You've made your position clear. People it's fine, it's fine, I get it. Fighting their I, occupiers I get it, but that's and why colonizers. I, no, that you're is, changing the wording in your mind. Wait, wait, hang on. I was going, hang on, hang on, everybody. I was raping innocent civilians. Hang on, hang on, Emily, I can do this. Oops, Emily is piping up, yet Piers needs no help from his fellow genocide apologists. I'm simply saying, uh, uh, Rania, <laughs> when, I get, when I get told I should stop asking that question, that is why I ask it, because the answers can be very eliminated. Well, I do Let me bring in Alika Lebon. Let me bring in Alika to be very patiently. Let me bring in Alika. It's been waiting yeah. patiently. Palestinian hostages, who we never hear about, by the way. There are 10,000 Palestinians being held by the Israelis. Many of them are children, by the way. I'd love to see you have one of their parents on your show. What's 35,000 here? 10,000 there to peers. If you're putatively brown, Muslim, Russian, or even just simply supporting the defenseless, then you and your kind are expendable, perceptually and emotively, second class in the eyes of peers and his compadres. But all that said, Israel is the one that has refused any of these deals. You mean the children in fact, who the are only hostages who have been killed. Let the me finish, Emily. I let you repeat all of your imperialist soldiers? talking points. I don't speak right. over each other. Can I finish other. talking? No, no, let, let Rania finish. Let, Emily, let Rania finish. Because you don't sure. see Palestinians as human, so of course you can't see any of them as innocent or hostages. Absolutely false. But I act At this point, it is pretty evident they don't. ...actually do see them as human. So what I, okay, let me finish what I'm saying here about the hostages. Just not Jews. You just Israel don't see Jews as human, right? About, about... Clearly something wrong with a demented fragment of some of these people. Not supporting genocide or mass murder. Whatever floats your boat is not akin to being anti-Semitic, anti-Jew, or ignoring the horrors that also took place on October 7th alongside the now scores of thousands of dead Palestinians. Israel is who you need to talk about or talk to about why they have not agreed to any of these deals because they prefer to carry out and continue their genocide in Gaza to steal more land and get revenge because it is a society that is consumed by hate at the moment. And I don't need to tell you that. You can just go look at the TikTok videos being put up by Israeli soldiers celebrating their criminality in Gaza. You can also look up the vile detestations enunciated from the likes of Itamar Ben-Gvir and Bezalel Smotrich. But here comes Peers to the rescue. Every and single you don't think, day, and, and Rania, as well Ryan, as the Rania, genocidal statements and Rania, by Israeli officials. And Rania, just to be clear, you don't think that Hamas are filled with hate for Jewish people or Israel, and you don't think they celebrated the bar... Hang on, hang on. Peers, and you don't think peers, they, and you don't yeah, think they celebrated ahead. proudly by broadcasting a lot of it to the world what they did to those innocent people on October the 7th. You don't see that that's the same peers, thing. Here's I think... Vacuous wordplay interchanging Palestinians with Hamas and vice versa. In any event, many Palestinians will now, in many cases exponentially, be consumed with hatred. It's kind of systematic when you butcher countless civilians, including women and children. The latest ill-conceived incarnation of this conflict could perceivably now see it dragging on inextricably for even further generations. Peers, Palestinians don't need to be like high on hate because they've been occupied and slaughtered for 76 years. And any people, not just Palestinians, would respond to that angrily and would fight for their survival, including, including all the colonized people in the world who've ever had to fight for their survival. Okay. There's I'm gonna, historical right. parallels you here. I've question. already made them. And Palestinians, and just like any human beings in the okay. world, are always going to fight for their survival. Hold fire, hold fire all three of you. Well, what I know right now is that the top priority should be to end the genocide in Gaza. There is a genocide taking place. 13,000 children, more than 13,000, have been killed. You know, there's now something called wounded child, no surviving family in Gaza because of how many children are wounded with no surviving family. This has been a horror show in Gaza. Babies are being starved. Are we not watching the same videos? Are you all not seeing the mutilated children with amputated limbs crying without their parents but out of interest. because of this okay, but ongoing... Rania, those with unbiased spirits, or at least those who are capable of exuding empathy, will be distraught at what has just been said. A sentiment that, of course, equally applies to any innocent Israeli children. However, look into their eyes. These beasts of nature are actually totally unmoved. 
how bleak large swathes of humanity have become if the killing of kids now means nothing to these ghouls. Ronnie, Slaughter? I am horrified by those scenes, but I'm really curious why you cannot express any horror for what Hamas did, given it was the same, if not worse. Hang on a cotton-picking minute. Did this peers just state that the mass killings of Neron, 35,000, predominantly women and children, was not somehow even worse than the atrocities of October 7th? Beggar's belief as to which dystopian planet this rancid Muppet is actually living on. And they proudly broadcast it. Because I, think I don't understand why you would expect because anybody... Hang on, let me ask you a question. Why would you expect anybody to express sympathy or empathy for what you're describing, given your utter refusal to express any for what Israelis went through on October the 7th? What an absolutely sick, immature and sullied statement qualified by as far as how any decent, right-minded human being should feel about the brutality of the conflict and mayhem, and that it is not qualified or predicated on what vocabulary comes out of Rania's mouth. Explain. You guys are using October 7th to justify a genocide. What are Palestinians justifying? I'm not using it to justify anything. I'm simply. I'm simply. Have been slaughtered. I'm not justifying you're sitting here saying anything. Me condemning. Hold on, peers. Peers, you're saying you want me to condemn. You want me to condemn Hamas in order for you all to feel empathy for over 13,000 no, Palestinian that's not what I children? Said. It certainly sounded like what this phone hacker just implied. Only a fool would expect peers to be a bastion of even minimal dignity by actually telling the truth. Who have been slaughtered. That's not what I said. It's essentially what I'm hearing here. No, you're not. You're, you're not, not going well, to get harder. Game. I'm not going to sit here. Listen more carefully. I'm not going to sit here and condemn colonize people. I'm just not. It's right. not going to happen. You can sit here and try to twist your words but you want... to weaponize your condemnation. But you keep slogan. talking about Israel. OK, it. but you keep talking about Israel killing babies and children and so on. And that is indisputably happening. Indisputably happening, yet no brutal condemnation. And yet you you are completely incapable of condemning Hamas for doing the same thing. Hamas carried out a military operation on October 7th. Israel killed a lot of its own people. It was people, a terrorist which you all attack. Never talk about. Is it what Israel's doing in Gaza terrorism? Would it's you a call response that terrorism? To, it's a response to an act of terrorism. This has to be a new low, even for peers. Any lower, and he'll be fumbling to find whatever few brain cells he has left at the bottom of the Red Sea. There are legit. There are, so no, that? hang on. There are legi many serious legitimate okay. concerns about the scale of that response. I agree. And they will be held to account by international courts about whether they've committed war crimes. Oh, will they? But not if the current US and British administrations have anything to do with it. But my issue is you don't give a damn what Hamas did to those innocent Israelis on October the 7th, do you? That's the heart well, of your you know, position. Well, you know, 100 journalism... Perf uh a hundred journalism professors at elite universities across the country are asking the New York Times to review their investigative reporting on October 7th. A lot of what we heard are lies. You don't talk about that on the show. Israeli media has reported on a lot of those lies, too. Moreover, peers, if you're going to say what Israel's doing is a response to October 7th, then could October 7th perhaps have been a response to what Israel's been doing to Palestinians, which nobody was covering mm. on October 4th or October 5th or October 6th? Come on now, Rania. This is peers you're conversing with. Being biased and complicit, alongside prostituting oneself out for clicks, knows no bounds, let alone apperception, reasoning or logic. What I hear here is no empathy for people undergoing a genocide. And I'm being here, sitting here and you're asking me to condemn people who are fighting for their survival. Actually, I'm just Seven asking you, I'm actually asking you, I'm actually asking you just to, I'm actually this. just asking you to condemn an act of grotesque terrorism and you're incapable of doing it. I want to hear or Emily and you and everybody a, on this panel and condemn And you're incapable Israel's of showing a shred of, of empathy terror. for anyone killed on the other side. That's my point. Let you're me bring, incapable of let showing me, hang a on. of empathy for Palestinians. I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. But I do know that much care is being taken even today in order to avoid civilian casualties as much as possible. So to no surprise, we have Emily Piper up again, puppeteering the warmonger's war cry, inviting all and sundry and their mother to partake in her now, further exacerbated holy wars. These folks are truly reprehensible. But again, we're dealing with an enemy that intentionally is endangering Palestinian civilians, which is all the more reason that this terrorist organization needs to be dismantled. They need to go 
and we need to take a strong, united stance as an international community against this terrorism because Hamas is not the only problem. Hamas is the beginning. And this is what I always speak about is that the conflict isn't just between Israel and Hamas. It's between the jihadism, the terrorist organizations with the backing of the Islamic Republic of Iran and all of their proxies against the Western world and all of the values okay. it stands for, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, feminism. It's much broader than just what we're seeing here. Yeah, that, and well, the that, listen, that, there's no doubt. is the Islamic Republic. There is no doubt it is much broader. Uh, finally, I want to go to you, Rania. So, like a cheap pound land Napoleon, propaganda peers about turns and steers his pedalo portside, cannons elevated to finish of Rania with a rather suppositious question as to whether Hamas are billionaires. Initially posed by his other maladroit guest, Elika Lebon. Oh, and is that billionaires comparable to the shareholders benefiting from arms sales to what is akin to a turkey shoot of predominantly civilians? I mean, do you accept that the leaders of Hamas are billionaires or is that something else you refuse to believe? You know what I see? I see a country called Israel that gets three point eight billion dollars a year. Don't ask a different question. Don't ask a different question. You've got a very, you've got a very, you know, weird way of every time I ask you a simple question, you ask, you answer something completely different. I'm just asking you, do you accept? Because you're that, trying to both sides it. Well, you talked earlier that the whole so thing. I there's some rich hang people on, in Hamas. Hang on. You yeah, talked does earlier. That mean that... You talked earlier that October the seventh was entirely justified because it's oppressed people. And as I Elica... didn't say that. You are putting words in my mouth. That is. Is uncalled if you for. Don't condemn I'm trying to bring attention to a genocide. Okay. You know what? If the Holocaust did, I tell you what, happening rather right than, now, rather you guys than will telling be me what we've all just heard you say, right? About... Let me, all right. Well, let me let me. Kate, let's just go through that then. So you do not. So you don't think it was justified, October the seventh. Back to his ridiculous bread and butter question. That is no more than a gimmick at this point, and yet we have somewhat enabled him, as Maximus said to the hordes, "Are you not entertained?" I am saying I refuse to play your condemnation was it just game, a, and what, I condemn I didn't the country ask you that, that my tax dollars I just go ask to you, do you, Israel. Hang on, you just I said, refuse to condemn you just Hamas. Said I I'm put not going to keep having this conversation with you. You just said I put words in you your mouth. You did put words in so my for, mouth. OK, so that's why I'm giving you the chance to set the record straight. Do you believe what happened October the 7th was justified, yes or no? I believe it. I believe what happened on October seventh was a reaction to Israeli was terrorism. It justified? That's what I believe. I'm not going to sit here and play a game about whether it was justified not or game. not. That is not my it's place not a game. to talk it was about. A terror attack. I am here. Do you believe yeah, it no, was it justified? Yeah, no, it's a game you're playing. It's a distraction. Was it justified? You are trying to distract from Why an ongoing genocide. Why don't you just answer the genocide. question? Ad hominem. Really, a histrionic display from peers. Even this disingenuous pillock in the deepest regions of his darkened gut is aware that the chronology of events between Israel and the Palestinians started way before October 7th and is far more intricate alongside multifaceted than his simplistic loaded line of questioning, thus appropriated specifically for clicks. You are trying to Answer distract the question. from an ongoing... Because I'm not playing that game. It's not, it's game. not my place to tell oppressed people what they... It's not my place right. to so you now say they are oppressed something. people. Okay. Rania, I don't understand. Okay, now yes. hang on, Emily. I'm do Emily, don't interrupt, please. Why Emily, would you side let, with let them? me Emily, let me finish. Interpreted as please, fellow genocide apologist, let me bully and finish her off. So, okay, so they're oppressed you people. You are justifying a genocide. Sorry, there is a Rania, genocide of Palestinians you just, you just, happening in Gaza Rania, right now. You just that said, is what I am Rania, here to talk about. You just said they were oppressed people, which is what I said at the start. So, do you believe that Hamas leaders? are billionaires or not? Premiering a new question to potentially replace his jaded condescending, do you condemn Hamas? There's some Hamas leaders who, are, who have money. I are don't they, know what that has billionaires? to do with the genocide in Gaza. Are they billionaires? I don't... I don't know why you're... Ha where, like, why is this the conversation? It's... Com where please, do they please, live? There are, like, children being bombed where right now by Israel. Where do they live? With bombs supplied by my government. Where do the Hamas billionaires live, the guys that run Here's Hamas? Here's where... Like, I don't, I don't even understand. I, I really have no idea where you're going. You don't this. Care, I actually do you? don't know if there's a Hamas billionaire. What I... I don't know if there's a Hamas billionaire, Piers. I just know that what you're doing right now is trying to distract from a no, genocide no. that Israel actually, is carrying out. Actually, all I'm doing, out. all I'm yes, doing, actually, yes, actually, yes. Yeah, all I'm actually doing is asking you very simple questions, and your failure to answer them is very illuminating. And what's ultra luminescent, Piers, is your detestable ability to grift off and demean the unimaginable suffering of others. Yet, one is pretty certain that you'll face a level of reckoning within your lifetime such as the most definite circle of life. 
My failure to answer if there's rich members of Hamas. Mm. What does that have to do with the genocide taking place in Gaza, Pierce? Oh, are there I would billionaire say, Israelis? I would say it's that got doesn't change everything the fact to that do. Israel's carrying a Actually, it's got everything to do with a lot of it, actually, is that you have a bunch of rich billionaire terrorists leading Hamas, and they're not actually the oppressed people you're trying to paint them as. They are rich terrorists leading a terror group, and they don't even live in Gaza. They don't care well, about the lives of people in stand. Gaza. I know that... And so he further demonstrates how hideously ill-informed he actually is, an infantile childlike grasp of matters as he elects to scoring cheap and rather meaningless points. Piers, I know that I stand on the right side of history by opposing a genocide, yeah. and you are an accomplice to it by sitting here and propagandizing Whatever. You for can a use any, any, genocidal you can use all that apartheid bullshit. state You can Israel. bullshit that stuff as much as you like. But... And so we plummet to the eerie depths of impertinence and disrespect, as Mehdi Hassan alluded to, that Piers tends to reserve for his, quote, brown guests. Wow, Let, but, this is incredibly I will aggressive. Give you, I will give you. All right, you, I will you guys give can you, just sit here I will and give bully you one, me, but you're just a bunch of genocide. I'll apologists. give you one last chance to just answer a simple question. Do you think what happened on October the seventh was justified? Yes or no? Do you think Israel's ethnic cleansing okay. and apartheid gave you the chance? You're not going to answer. Thank you all for coming I'm on the. I'm giving you the chance, and you're not. So, despite this abominable exigent conflict continuing more or less unabated in the Middle East. Propaganda peers has spent the entirety of this show vacuously attempting to castigate Rania for not condemning Hamas in a fashion that is accustomed to his dim self, as though her sought-after condemnation carried as much weight as resolving the two-state solution. Yet the slither of beings who support Propaganda Pierce's his antics would have us accused of ad hominem, ignoring any irony. It is not ad hominem to accuse peers of the facts in being an absolute bell end when he prioritizes personal humiliation over, for example, any real or purposeful examination on the quote-unquote plausible genocide, or, as he eloquently alluded to earlier, genocide not yet, or, in reference to prior interviews, casually inferring an atomic strike on Russia without abjectly considering the consequences if he's even capable. But let us finish off. Thank you all for coming on Uncensored. I appreciate it.